This is a chocolate cake baked inside of a pumpkin. And welcome to Seven Nights, Nights of Halloween. Where we are baking treats every day for the next week. Starting with the pie pumpkin, slice the top one quarter of the pumpkin off. Just big enough to get something down in there to scoop all the innards out. Save the seeds. You can bake them later for a snack. Once that's done, it's time to bake the cake batter. In a medium sized bowl, add one cup of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, a dash of salt, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Set the dry ingredients aside and chop up three ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. This is going to be the start of our chocolate sauce that we'll mix into those dry ingredients. Next, get a skillet on medium high heat and dump in one stick of butter and one cup of brown sugar until the sugar starts to dissolve and the mixture gets all bubbly. Whisk in the chocolate until it's melted and nice and smooth. Remove from heat. From here, you'll want to wait until the mixture is completely cool before moving forward unless you want chocolate scrambled eggs. Once the sauce has cooled completely, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two lightly beaten eggs. Once the eggs are mixed into the chocolate completely, incorporate the dry ingredients and whisk until combined. Next, wrap your gutted pumpkin in tin foil and pour the batter into the pumpkin. Bake at 350 degrees for an hour or so until the cake begins to come out of the top of the pumpkin. From here, lower the heat to 300 degrees and bake for another two hours. Let the cake finish cooking inside of the warm pumpkin until it cools completely. This took over three hours, but if all goes according to plan, when you cut into the pumpkin, you should have a completely cooked cake. Honestly, I can't believe this worked. Let's finish this up by making some butterscotch sauce. Add four tablespoons of butter and three quarter cup of brown sugar to a pan and cook until it gets all bubbly. Whisk in half a cup of heavy cream and continue cooking until it gets super thick. Add one quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and two teaspoons of vanilla extract and cook further until it gets even thicker. Chocolate cake in a pumpkin. Kids? Because. <laughs> oh. But you want me to eat that? I really do. Come on. <laughs> Just put that bad. That's kind of bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, it goes away quickly. Here. I like the ice cream. Try this. We made homemade butterscotch to go with it. That part is actually good. Oh, that part's good. Yeah, that part's good. Yeah. Pumpkin flavor goes away pretty quickly. It's not that bad. <laughs> you have the greatest? No. I'm glad we only made one. <laughs>